Hi traders, Mayor Barak from Traded.com. I'm going to show you a short recap of my trading session today, starting with Seva. Seva is down 26%, extremely rare. You don't normally find such a big gap down. So I'm going to trade it with double size. I'm about to short 8,000 shares. It just tried to move higher, failed. That's the topping tail. I click that button and I'm short right now. Now, I expect it to fail because normally when the stock is down that much, there will be a lot of bottom fishing. There will be a lot of people who will double down their losses. There will be a lot of people who will think that they, they have a great finding when the stock is down that much. They are usually wrong. Never ever do that. The biggest mistake in the book is bottom fishing. It just touched under the lows. At any sign of a pullback, I'm going to take my partial. I don't want to see any pullback. I'm already up more than 20 grand, but now it's starting to pull back and I'm a little bit concerned. And you know, it's a big mover. It could easily go back. So just click that button, took my partial, left 400 shares for the continued game. I think it's coming down, so I'm adding another 4,000 shares right now. But at the same time, I have another candidate which I would like to trade. And again, we're talking about, uh, we're five minutes into the trading session. Now take a look at JW and another great opportunity. Why? Because this one's down more than 30%. I'm about to short it. Nice breakdown formation, short 8,000 shares. Again, extra size, double size. Why? Because it's gapping down more than 10%. When you have a stock gapping down that much, you expect a bigger move. Now, Take a look at both of them, the way they move. I just added to um, uh, to Seva here another 4,000 shares. As you can see, it just touched a new low. So I added. Again, when you add, you don't normally add as much as you uh, took the first trade because you don't want to turn a green trade to a red trade. One of, of, a very, one of the very important tools that I have. So anyway, I'm following both of them, as you can see. Uh, Seva with a first partial, uh, but it's coming down already up like eight grand. Uh, at any sign of a pullback, I'm going to click that button. And again, it came down quite a lot. I'm about to take my partial right now. Again, leaving 400 shares for the continued game. But right now, my profit in Seva just grew dramatically. Uh, at the same time, JWN keeps coming down. It's a fast forward, as you can see. Uh, it's trending lower. It doesn't really look back. Uh, but it's not as big mover as Seva is. So I'm um, again looking for the point of uh, reversal. Uh, right now, touching a new low. I think it's a bit extended, so I'm going to take my partial here. I'm going to cover 7,600 shares, just covered. So two great trades to start my morning. And we're just into, uh, I don't know, 12 minutes into the trading session. And that's a huge uh, day for me. So uh, what the whole idea about gap and goes? You know, when you have a gap which is more than 3%, normally the institutional traders will not participate, which means the ones who do participate are people like us. Or maybe not all of them traders. Most of them, in fact, are not traders, more like long-term investors or swing traders or whatever. The thing is, they would usually, when the stock is crashing down that much, there will, there will usually be two groups of uh, people. The ones who have the fear, the fear will rule because fear is much stronger than greed. And the ones who are greedy enough to buy the stock when it's down so much. When the stock is down that much, like over 20% uh, in the case of Seva or over 10% in the case of uh, of uh, JWN, there will be uh, some people who would want to buy, just like the case of Seva, then you wait for a reversal, you wait for the failure because they are very likely to fail because again, fear is much stronger than greed. And then you short it at the reversal point, just like I did right here in Seva. And in the case of JWN, well, the buyers just didn't come for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't care. But it had a nice bear flag formation right there. Nice breakdown formation. And it keeps coming down, as you can see right now. So I'm still holding 400 shares on both, waiting for the uh, continued game. So anyway, when it, you have a big gap down, institutional traders are out. Fear rules, because that's the vast majority of the people who trade or invest in the stock. Some of them, like in the case of Seva, they will double down on their losses, which means stock may move higher at the beginning. Uh, that's the best formation. If, if a stock moves higher like that, that's the best formation. You just wait for the reversal. You wait for the failure of the buyers, which you will probably get like more than 70% of the time. And then you short it. So two great trades to start my morning with. I had another trade in Beyond um, and, you know, just a great um, morning for me. Just 10 minutes into the trading session, I'm already up and uh, finishing this day with uh, around $25,000. If you like this video, I will appreciate if you give us a thumb up. Helps our channel, helps more people like you learn more about uh, day trading. 
And if you do want to subscribe to our channel, then right here there's a subscribe button and you can click on the notification bell if you want to get uh, information about my future uploads. And there's plenty of links right here below. So um, if you want to join us, feel, feel comfortable clicking one of the links. Uh, no credit card is required. And let's have a discussion about Gap and Go's. You know, Gap and Go is a, a, a very, I'm not the only one who's doing Gap and Go. There's different ways, different uh, different systems of Gap and Go's. If you want to have a discussion about that, let's have a discussion. I promise to answer each and every of your questions. So let's talk about it right here in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.